gotcha. You're not stealing my alcohol. Get out of here, kids. Get out of here. Get off my lawn. Crazy kids these days with their hula hoops and their fax machines. Come on, get out of here. I need them. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dave. Welcome back to the wee hours where I suffer from periodic bouts of insomnia. Play games to pass the time. We are back with some more Tavern Tycoon, sort of halfway-ish through the second level of this. Everything is on special, and we're not doing so hot. Our reputation is tanking, and we're not really, you know, financially stable. And by that, I mean we're pretty much flat broke. But I do have to thank some commenters who pointed out, well, a bunch of things I could be doing differently. A little late to do them now, unless I basically demolish everything in here. But one one particular thing that stood out that may be affecting our reputation is this person right here who's got sort of the boxing gloves on and a big sort of white cape and cowl and I was told if we can click on that person yes those are two children disguised as an adult sneaking into our bar and stealing our alcohol and apparently that very negatively affects our reputation. So we have discovered their little ruse and sent them packing. Off you go. Let me just see if there's any others of those. What? What is that guy? Uh, okay, nope, nope. He's okay. He's fine. He's a, he's a real adult. Let me just make sure there's not anyone else around here who is disguised as an adult trying to steal our alcohol. All right, you guys are just chilling out on the benches. Good. People seem to like those benches. I think we might put a couple of more of those down if we have any money ever again. Um, we are really hurting financially right now. We have ooh, $523, and we need a lot more than that. But hopefully picking off those little disguised children will help our reputation a little tiny bit. Let's see what kind of mail we've got coming in here. Uh, group reservation for nine nights. Oh, I don't know if I, uh, I like the sound of that. We don't really have the facilities to deal with that right now. Uh, oh, Lord Peter wants to come. Yeah, you know what? Let's see if um, maybe we can get a little better rep from Lord Peter now that we've removed the children from our adult entertainment. Well, that sounded wrong, but our adult establishment. How about that? Not our adult entertainment. That's a totally different kind of game that we're not playing. All right. Is there anything small that we could be doing right now to help our rep? All of these knights want to go to the gym. Well, guys, the gym is right here. You know what I could be doing, though? What I could be doing, actually, is... Oh, Lord Peter's here. Lord Peter's here. Is part of the problem that I think we're having is I jacked up the prices on all this stuff. I am just gouging people right now. And we need the money, but I'm concerned that might be affecting our reputation. People don't like us as much because, well, we're gouging every gold coin we can out of them. So let me see if I can adjust a few things in here. Uh, not what I wanted to do. Let's go back to policy. That's the one I want. All right. So the gym, it costs them 10 gold to get in and then five gold to use all the things each. Let's, um, let's just charge them an entrance fee and everything once you get in the door is now free to use. Let's see if the knights will like that a little bit better. And the study where the wizards go, five gold to get in. How about if we lowered the price of using the rune stage, which is what they love, to 10, but maybe bumped up the price to get in the door a little bit. I don't know how that's going to play out, but we'll see. Um, I'm not, well, maybe, maybe it kind of looks like some more knights are going to the gym. That would be good. Probably really need to build a second gym because we are just swimming in knights who want to exercise. Yeah, you're leaving. Can we find out why you're leaving? No, we can't click on you right now. Any more children that I should be aware of? No? Okay. Our money seems to be stable right at the moment. I'd like to see what happens at the end of the month. Oh, our bartender leveled up. It means he's probably going to ask for a raise soon. That's no good. Um, yeah, I just want to see what happens at the end of the month. And our reputation is ticking up. Good. Good. So maybe getting rid of the unruly brats helped our rep a little bit. 
Uh, wizards not really actively using the wizard area. We don't actually have a lot of wizards in the building. We have some, but we are, we've got way more knights than wizards. So a second gym, if we can ever afford it, wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Um, okay, so staff wages and everything after the end of the month, we're down to 497. So we're not going broke. That's good. I appreciate not completely going broke. And maybe now that I've lowered the price, people will use things more like the gym and the wizard study to, well, my hope is that if it's less less pricey than they might use it more, which overall will... Why are you just randomly casting spells? What are you doing over there? What, why are you standing in a puddle of vomit? That Who are you? What What's your deal? You're silly. I, 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 I might have to throw you out of the bar. Okay, money is ticking up a little bit. Uh, what Did we get a result from Lord Peter yet? Has he... Uh, oh yeah, there we go. The bartender's requesting a pay raise. No surprise there. He is a really good bartender, though, and he's only asking for an extra 14 gold a month. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and agree to that. I really don't want him leaving. He's a very, very good bartender, so you can have your raise. And again, did we get our uh, result from Lord Peter yet? No, not yet. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, maybe put another one of these fireplaces down. People like those. It makes them happy. In fact, if I could find a place to put one over here, that might be good. Uh, one of the comments that came up, which was so obvious now that I think about it, is the reception desk for the guest rooms don't really need to be by the guest rooms. They can be, oh, Lord Peter just left. Okay, we should get a result from him soon. Yep, there he is. Um, the, really, the reception desk would make more sense right in the front of the building, and then the guest rooms can still be over here. The, the, the reception desk does not need to be near the guest rooms. They can just check in and then go about their merry business. Oh, you're vomiting on the floor. That's, that's bad. Although I, I will say there's a lot less vomit than the first level that I played. I've, I've, I think I've largely got the vomit issue under control at this point. I, that, that is my hope anyway. Um, okay, do we have a result from Lord Peter? Inspection results. Not the best, mostly satisfactory. 25 rep and 2,500 gold. Great, good. Okay. Uh, oh, we got some more spam email. Having trouble dreaming at night? Try our all-natural pixie dust collected from real pixies. It has proven to be highly effective as a soothing sleep solution. One sniff before bed, and you'll wake up feeling refreshed and whimsical. No, I, I don't think I'll pay 200 gold for that. Thank you. Appreciate it, but no thank you. You know, another visit from Lord Peter in the near future would not be the worst thing in the world. We sort of have things under control. I want to build something, but... I don't want to blow all our money again. Um, how is our rep right now? 493, and I believe if I remember correctly, we need 600 rep for this level. So, okay, you're hammered. That probably means you're going to start puking soon. That's no good. Uh, you are chilling out in the staff room. I would love to throw down anything I can to make people happier. And something, what, what's your deal? Why do you have a little thought icon above your head? I have no idea. Okay. Um, how much is another fireplace? What are those going for? 1850. That's not nothing. Oh, and where could I actually put it? Yeah, give me, I'm going to do it. Give me one of those. I could put one there. All right, one will fit over there. I don't suppose there's any chance I can fit one over here somewhere. No, I really maxed out this building. Gee, if I didn't have that reception desk there, is there anywhere I can move the reception desk? Um, oh, wait a minute. The fireplace is broken. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me plunk this guy down for a start. Oh, okay, you're already fixing it. Good. The handyman is already here, or the, you know, um, the, the guy, the guy who does the thing, cleans up the vomit and whatnot. All right, you're already fixing that. Good job. Good job. I appreciate that. Oh, the, the vomit is getting a little thick and heavy around here. Um, maybe maybe my excellent bartender is a little too excellent. It's, oh, wow. Wow, there's a lot of vomit right now. Okay. It's, it's a little unseemly. Um, I think I don't want the staff wages, but... 
I, I think we probably have to hire another handyman. Oh, it is handyman. All right. Um, you're broadly not terrible. You're pretty good. Yeah. Let's let's hire you and let's drop you right in this pile of vomit. There you go. Get right to work. Right to work. Thank you. Are you going to clean that up? Yes, you're going to clean that up. Okay, the other fireplace is repaired. That's good. That's good. Uh, what mail is coming in? Groupers. Oh, somebody else wants a raise. Who wants a raise? Oh, uh, what do you want? You want another 11? You're not actually that good, but I can't really afford to be losing people right at this moment. So sure, why not? Why not? Oh, what? Oh, more mail. Gosh darn it, more mail. Regular inspection. Try to take a short break and visit your tavern. Not that this won't work. Keep the mead cold for me. Let me know when is the best time. Well, Lord Peter, this is as good a time as any, so come on in. Hopefully we can get a little more rep out of him and, even more importantly, some more money. That would be excellent. Now, is there anything... You guys all want somewhere to sleep. Okay, we might be able to arrange that. As I, I mean, we only got 1,500 gold, but the, the sleeping quarters are not that crazy expensive, are they? No, there's 360. So if we put one here... Uh, yeah. Do do that. And then a door. And then a bed. And the, the thingamajig here. Uh, yeah, that thing. And then the all-important rug. And confirm that. That's, that's no bad thing. I can live with that. An extra guest room is only going to help. And, you know, as, as we just talked about, if the reception desk is over there, no problem. No problem. Let's get back to here. I just want to keep an eye on the front of the house here. Uh, bartender is off duty. The vomits. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got to know one of those kids. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Ha! Gotcha. Gotcha. You're not stealing my alcohol. Get out of here, kids. Get out of here. Get off my lawn. Crazy kids these days with their hula hoops and their fax machines. Come on, get out of here. I need a bouncer. That's what this game needs. Oh, that would be a really good update. If anyone's, you know, paying attention to that who does these sort of things. A bouncer, a door guy, uh, security, if you will. Wow, we've got a lot of knights. We have a lot of knights. Doesn't seem to be as many wizards, but a lot of knights. See, there's one of those minstrel guys. I'd Oh, one of the maidens just leveled up. Excellent. I'd love to put down a stage, but... I haven't really planned out these buildings to accommodate that. That would have done really well down in here. That would have been the best place for the stage. Not so much. Oh, Lord Peter's here. Lord Peter's here. Um, everyone, you know, best behavior. End of the month? End of the year, rather? Oh, no! Oh, no! We got fired. We got fired. Oh... He's going to throw a chicken at us. Dang it. All right. Well, you know, that's fair. I kind of poorly planned out those buildings and built a little too quickly. That's that's totally fair. My incompetent management, Lord Peter, fired you and threw a whole chicken at your poor dwarf. That's no good. Well, there it is. That's fair, though. You know what? I, I kind of blew that level. Would I like to try again? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you want me to try again at this level? Do you want to see some more Tavern Tycoon? It's kind of fun, and it's kind of kind of cool and neat and, and cute. So if you want me to try again, let me know in the comments. If not, that's cool too. But I failed at level 2 of Tavern Tycoon. I could take another crack at it, but it's largely up to you, so let me know. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time.